Let's look at finding areas and percentiles for the chi-square distribution using R. Let's jump right to it here and find the 2 and a half and 97 and a half percentile of the chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom. Our chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom is going to look something along those lines. And the 2 and a half percentile is going to be the value over here that yields an area to the left of 0 0.025. And the 97.5 percentile is going to be the value over here that yields an area to the left of 0.975 and an area to the right of 0 0.025. This value here, in my notation, we call chi-square 0 0.025, the chi-square value with 0 0.025 off to the right. This value over here, we're going to call chi-square 0.975, because it has an area of 0.975 off to the right. Now let's use R to find those values. Here I have R running, and I'm going to use the command Q chi square, which is going to give me quantiles of the chi square distribution. So, for example, if I put in 0 0.025 and 6 in brackets here, I'm going to get the 0 0.025th quantile of a chi square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom, or in other words, the 2 and a half percentile. I get a value of 1.237344. And if I want the 97 and a half percentile, I'm simply going to use the command Q chi square 0 0.975 with 6 degrees of freedom. Now I've got the two values that I need. So R has told me that this value is 1.237344, and this value over here is 14.44938. In other words, the 97 and a half percentile is this, and the 2 and a half percentile is this. What is the area to the left of 0 0.5 under a chi-square distribution with 3 degrees of freedom? Well, I'm going to draw out my chi-square distribution with 3 degrees of freedom. It looks something like this, and I happen to know that 0 0.5 is actually a small value under a chi-square distribution with 3 degrees of freedom. And what we need to find is this area here. That's what we want to find. Here we're going to use the command p chi square, which gives us the area to the left of a value we put in. So I'm going to use p chi square 0 0.5 with 3 degrees of freedom, and I get 0 0.0811. And so R tells me that this area is 0 0.0811 to four decimal places. Let's look at a different type of problem here. What is the area to the right of 18.9 under a chi square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom? Well, our chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom looks something like this. And a value of 18.9 I know is going to be out in the right tail. It's about 18.9. So let's try and find this area, the area to the right of 18.9 under our chi-square distribution. Well, if I use the command p chi-square 18.9 with 6 degrees of freedom, I'm going to get the area to the left of 18.9 under a chi-square distribution with 6 degrees of freedom. Now that's not quite what I want. I want the area to the right. Well, that's simple enough. I simply want to go 1 minus that value. So I use the same command, but 1 minus the area to the left of 18.9 gives me the area to the right. And here we go. We've got our area 0 0.0043 to four decimal places. And so R has told me that this area to four decimal places is 0 0.0043.